Maybe the most heard entrance examinations after grade 12 would be for the science students. But that does not mean humanities students don't have any entrance examinations to write after grade 12. In this video, I am going to give you an idea about the most common entrance examinations that can be written by the humanities students after completing grade 12. My name is Srividya Santosh and I provide unbiased guidance when it comes to higher education, premium institutes, entrance examinations, etc. CLAT is a national level law entrance examination that can be written by science, commerce and humanities students for pursuing law degree after grade 12. Other than CLAT, which is Common Law Admission Test, there are other examinations like ALIT, uh, LSAT, etc. that can be written by the humanities students. So, if you are planning to pursue a law degree, please make sure that you get a coaching for writing the law entrance examinations. The next entrance examination for the humanities student is NCHMCT. NCHMCT is National Council for Hotel Management and Catering Technology. If you are planning to do a degree in hotel management, then there is an entrance examination that you have to write for getting into the national level colleges. And the name of the examination is NCHMCT. Irrespective of the stream that you have selected for your grade 12, you can write this examination. IPMAT, this was not so popular until the year 2020. But by 2020, more people got familiar with IPMAT and the integrated MBA program that has been offered by IIM. If somebody is planning to get into an IIM, as you all know, they have to first complete their degree program, then write the examination and then get an MBA seat. But now, right after 12, you have an option of writing an entrance examination and getting an integrated management seat in IIM. Not all IIMs provide this degree, but there are a few and the list is getting increased year by year. By this time, that is by the year 2020, this examination has got so popular that a lot of students from science, commerce and humanities background are preparing for this exam. The next major entrance examination is the design level entrance examination. As you know, in India, we have major institutes like NIFT, NID, etc. that provides various courses in the design sector. So if somebody is planning to move into a course which is related to designing, then you can write the design-oriented entrance examinations. NDA, National Defense Academy. Earlier, this was an examination that could have been given only by boys. But now, both boys and girls can write this examination. For Indian Army, Indian Navy and Indian Air Force, please do remember that the eligibility criteria are different. For Army, Humanities, Science and Commerce, any stream students can write the examination. But for Navy and Air Force, it is mandatory that you should have a science background in your grade 11 and grade 12. However, even if you are planning to get into Army, Navy or Air Force, the entrance examination that you have to give is going to be the same. And it has got a math paper. So if you are a Humanities student and the plan is to give the NDA examination, I would advise you to please go through the math previous year question paper to get an understanding about the questions that are being asked. Because in most of the schools, when you take humanities, you don't have a math as an optional subject. So if you don't touch with math for grade 11 and 12, it is going to be a little difficult for you to write this examination. So please keep that in mind. <laughs> Maybe some of you would have been thinking about HSC. Let me remind you, HSE, which was Humanities and Social Science Entrance Examinations for getting into IITs. The name of the course was Integrated MA Development Studies. As of the year 2022, that examination has come to a halt. Now, there is another common entrance examination which you all have to think about, which is called CUCET, which is the Central University Entrance Examination. From the year 2022, it has become a national level entrance examination. And maybe years down the line, when India moved into a one nation, one entrance examination scheme, even the science entrance examinations like the JE and NEET will also come under the CUCET category. But however, if you're planning to get seats in central universities, remember also the humanities students can get into central universities for various courses. There are a 
lot of courses that you people can get in. So please have a check on what CUC it is. I have done a detailed video on what that is. If you have not watched that video, please I have given that in the i button. Please check that so that you can have an idea about that entrance examination. Now, other than this, the humanities students can also give certain university level entrance examination, mostly for BBA, some of the universities. I won't say that it is a national level prominent entrance examination, but some universities, they conduct their own entrance examinations majorly for the BBA programs. And as you all know, commerce and humanities students, a major chunk of people who come out of this tree, they opt for the BBA program also. So if you have a plan to get into BBA, please check with your university the name of the entrance examination that they ask for and then you have to plan for that entrance examination. Now I have given you a gist of the major entrance examinations that can be given after studying humanities in grade 11 and 12. If you have missed any entrance examination which you think is major, please drop down as comments below this video. Also, what would be the next topic that you would like to hear from me? Please drop your comments. See you in another video. Goodbye.